Hi friends, it's Miss Rachel. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Tell me who's here and say hi. All right, are we ready? Let's go ahead and get started. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, rub your tummies. If you're ready for a story, rub your tummies. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, rub your tummies. If you're ready for a story, nod your head. If you're ready for a story, nod your head. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, nod your head. If you're ready for a story, sit so still. If you're ready for a story, sit so still. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, sit so still. Good job. All right, we're going to do open and shut them. Open and shut them. Open and shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open and shut them. Open and shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Group them, group them, group them, group them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth, but do not let them in. Good job. And hello, Sierra, Taylor, and Travis. I hope you are doing well. I miss you very much. We are going to do our peach tree today. Now, Miss Rachel needs some help. I have done so many trees on this video, these videos, and I need some new ideas. So leave me comments down below on your favorite tree or a silly tree you would like to see Miss Rachel do and help me come up with the lyrics. So leave me your favorite tree and what you would say when you shake that item down from the tree. But today we're going to do the peach tree and we're going to shake that tree as hard as we could and we're going to take a big bite and say, mmm, that was good. First we have to count those peaches. One, two, three, four, five. Way up high in the peach tree, five little peaches smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could, and down came the peach. Mmm, <sighs> that was good. How many peaches now? Four. One, two, three, four. Way up high in the peach tree, four little peaches smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could, and down came the peach. Mmm, <sighs> that was good. How many peaches now? Three. Way up high in the peach tree three little peaches smiled at me i shook that tree as hard as i could and down came the peach mm, that was good how many peaches now two way up high in the peach tree two little peaches smiled at me i shook that tree as hard as i could and down came the peach. Mmm, <sighs> that was good. How many peaches now? One. Way up high in the peach tree, one little peach smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. 
and down came the peach. Mmm, that was good. Ooh, we have a suggestion for a watermelon tree. We have a fun time doing the watermelon tree, spitting out those seeds, huh? Feel free to leave comments throughout the video. Let me know what kind of trees you guys would like to see. Today, we are gonna talk about pets. So what does it mean to have a pet? It's an animal that you get to take care of. So some common things are like dogs, cats, birds, fish, but you can have fun ones like guinea pigs, maybe a snake. What kind of pets do you guys have and what are their names? I would love to know. I have two dogs and their names are Carter and Olive. So today we're going to talk about some dogs. Our very first book is My Pet, Once a Pet. And this is by Elisa Broach. Once there was a boy who wanted something to take care of. Something of his very own. He begged and he begged and he begged his mother. Until, what do you know, she said yes. The boy loved his puppy. He fed him and he played with him. He cuddled him in his arms. The puppy licked the boy and he licked him and jumped on him and fell asleep in his lap. They had the best time together, the boy and his pet. Such a good time, in fact, that the puppy decided that he wanted a pet too. The boy's mother thought this was a terrible idea. The puppy is your pet, she said. He doesn't need a pet. But the boy understood that the puppy wanted something to take care of, something of his very own. And so the puppy got a kitten, a furry orange kitten. Truth be told, the boy was surprised at this choice. Dogs chase cats, he told the puppy. And the puppy did chase the kitten, but only as a game. And afterwards, he let her eat from his bowl and play with his ball, and they dozed in the sun side by side. In fact, they got along so well and had so much fun together that it wasn't long before the kitten herself wanted a pet. When the boy told his mother that she looked his mother this, she looked at him like he was very crazy. The kitten is the pet of your pet. She certainly does not need a pet. But the boy and the puppy understood that the kitten wanted something to take care of, something of her very own. And so the kitten came home one day with a bird, a pretty red bird. Now, once again, this seemed like an odd choice. Cats catch birds, the boy told the kitten, and the kitten did something, pounce on the bird, but really, it was all in just good fun. The kitten made sure that the bird had water and a place to fly and a perch, and they got along so well and did so many marvelous things together that soon enough, what do you think? The bird wanted a pet. Now this is getting ridiculous, said the boy's mother. That bird is the pet of the pet of your pet. She does not need a pet. But the boy knew that she did. She really did. So the bird brought home a worm and a little green worm. The bird started to explain that birds eat. The boy started to explain that the birds eat worms. But then he decided to leave them, well, leave them well alone. And the bird took such good care of the worm and was so gentle when she carried him and so quick to protect him that before long, guess what? 
the worm wanted a pet. What? cried the, the boy's mom. The worm is the pet of the pet of the pet of your pet. He doesn't need a pet. But the boy knew that even a worm might need something to take care of, something of his very own. And so the worm found a flea. It was a tiny brown flea and it hopped all over the house. Why the worm had trouble keeping up with it. But he followed the flea and looked after it and soon they were the best of friends. And in no time at all, can you imagine what happened? That's right, the flea wanted a pet. Absolutely not, said the boy's mother. The flea is the pet of the pet of the pet of the pet of your pet. No more pets. But that didn't stop the flea because of course he wanted something to take care of and something of his very own. So the flea decided that the puppy would be his pet. Oh, life was wonderful. The boy and the puppy and the kitten and the bird and the worm and the flea were happy as could be because they all had pets. But there was something a special and important someone who wasn't happy. She wasn't happy at all. Now, the boy and the puppy and the kid and the bird and the worm and the flea were a little bit worried. None of them would, go, would wanted to give up the pet. What were they going to do? The boy thought about it for a long time and then he had an idea. His mother needed something to take care of, something of her very own. Because whenever you take care of something, that something takes care of you. Good job. All right, we're going to do our two little black words. We're going to start with Jack and Jill. Two little black birds sitting on a hill. One named Jack and one named Jill. Fly away, Jack, and fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. All right, now let's do loud and quiet. Two little blackbirds sitting on a hill. One name loud, one name quiet. Fly away loud, fly away quiet. Come back loud, come back quiet. All right, can we do fast? And slow. Two little blackbirds sitting on a hill. One name fast and one name slow. Fly away fast and fly away slow. Come back fast and come back slow. Good job. All right, we're going to do our insects all around. So let me get all my insects out. So we have our ladybug, and what is this? Butterfly, and a bumblebee, and last we have our ant. So we're gonna have ladybugs and butterflies, buzzing bees up in the, so in the sky, teeny tiny little ants crawling up and down the plants. Many insects can be found in the sky and on the ground. So it goes like this. Ladybugs and butterflies, buzzing bees up in the sky. Teeny tiny little ants crawling up and down the plants. Many insects can be found in the sky and on the ground. Good job. Hi, Allie. Thank you for joining us tonight. If you have any tree suggestions, leave them down below. I would love to hear. All right, so we're going to do a dog named Rags. Doesn't this guy over here look like a Rags? So this song goes, a dog named Rags. His ears are going to go flip-flop. His tail is going to go wig-wag. 
and when he walks, he goes zigzag. So it goes like this. I have a dog and his name is Rags. He eats so much that his tummy sags. His ears flip flop and his tail wig wags. And when he walks, he goes zigzag. He goes flip flop wig wag. Zigzag, he goes flip flop wig wag. Zigzag, he goes flip flop wig wag. Zigzag, I love rags and he loves me. He goes flip flop wig wag. Zigzag, he goes flip flop wig wag. Zigzag, he goes flip flop wig wag. Zigzag, I love rags and he loves me. Good job. All right, we're going to do come under my umbrella. It's starting to rain with thunder and lightning. Come under my umbrella, umbrella, umbrella. Come under my umbrella. It's starting to rain with thunder and lightning. Thunder and lightning. Come under my umbrella. It's starting to rain. Good job. All right, my last book is This Book Just Ate My Dog. And this is by Richard Wright. This dog, this book just ate my dog by Richard Wright. Bella was taking her dog for a stroll across the page when something very odd happened. Bella's dog disappeared. Hello, Bella. What's up? said Ben. decided to investigate. But Ben disappeared too. Suddenly help zoomed in, then vanished. Things were getting ridiculous. I'll just have to sort this out myself, thought Bella. But burp. sometime later, a note appeared and it read, Dear reader, I would be, it would be lovely if you could kindly help us. Please turn this book on its side and shake. Bella plus, turn your book and shake. Shake, 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 shake. And one last little wiggle. Thank you, Bella. And everyone reappeared. And things got back to normal. Well, almost. Dear reader, Please tell this book to promise not to be so naughty next time you read it. Thank you, Bella. Good job. All right, we're going to do Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high like a diamond in the sky twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are good job all right i have a comment about brown bear we'll have to add that to our list to do in a future video thanks for the tip all right, let's go ahead and wave goodbye. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. 
With our friends at story time, we wave goodbye like this. We clap goodbye like this. We clap goodbye like this. With our friends at story time, we clap goodbye like this. We stomp goodbye like this. We stomp goodbye like this. With our friends at story time, we stomp goodbye like this. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope to see you next time.